Howdy everybody, happy Wednesday from RockFreakinSolid.com Once again this week we're doing the 19 piece set of chromatic tubular drums um, Today we're going to talk about uh, design specs to some sort of degree or another uh, last, uh, last post on Monday we um, mentioned the um, mathematical formula once again for finding a wavelength and discovering how long to cut our tubes and we discussed the um, PVC and capping them versus not capping them and such. Um, today we're going to talk about how to really set them up. Um, they need to be sitting in something or standing in something. I mean, you could, I don't know, wrap string around them and have them hang between a couple of things, but that's kind of, uh, you know, you strike them, they're going to be wiggling all over the place. How are we going to, like, set these up, right? So, what we're going to do is... I'll let that fall down. Um, this is what you want to do. It's really very simple. You put like a screw here, here, and here around a straight line. What I, what I like to do to make a perfect straight line around a, a tube like this, wrap a piece of paper around it so that the edges meet. You know, you wrap it around once or twice, make sure the edges meet perfectly, and then just trace around there, and you've got like a perfectly level line there. On that line, put like three or four screws. Three's enough. And that way you can set it into something and let it hold there, like a flat piece of uh, plywood with a hole cut in it. But even then, you know, you might get a little motion like this. So what I do, I'll take uh, two pieces, okay, and kind of like separate them a little bit. So that it will be held both here and here. So therefore, let me grab the higher set over here. You pretty much have a setup like this. Now the set I'm making is going to have three of these. This one's the shorter one. The other ones have seven. So two sevens out of five, you get like um, 19. Now I have it set up so that I have the the sharps a little taller than the rest because you want to be able to hit them without hitting all the other ones next to each other. They're still close enough so that if you want to hit a couple at a time. Well, these sounds really, these sound really high. These are the shorter ones. Now, um, after that, after you got that set up, pretty much, you know, it'll be one here and one there. So you'll have like three standing up. Well, uh, Friday when we do the full project, I'll show you how to simply, simply, simply do the stands. It's real take downable uh, you can tote them anywhere um, but yeah once again remember um, try to have the sharps set up higher than the rest it makes it just a lot easier to be able to whack at them I'm going to show you how to do the uh, strikers too this is just a piece of foam I pulled out of the corner of my workshop it's pretty messy in here a little chilly in here too that's why I got the jacket on And the, uh, the striker sticks are the, uh, you need two of them. Because you got two hands, and if you're going to be wailing the hell out of these things, you know, you want to go, you'll see. Um, that's pretty much it for today. Today was a cinch post. Uh, Friday we'll have fun. All right, we'll, we'll put it all together. And uh, we're going to be using a lot of those uh, karage chicken sticks. Uh, well, sorry, that's what we call them in Japan. They're corn dog sticks in America. Back at home, Corn Dog USA. <laughs> These things, you know what I'm talking about. You can get them at a supermarket. You don't have to buy a corn dog and eat it to get one. But I like the things over here. They're pretty much bolus fried chicken on a stick. Um, that's it for today. See you Friday. Later. Bye bye.